Aye, it's a dangerous world out there. Let's stock up what you can. Is something the matter, Karen? You seem... perturbed. Do I know? How clever of you to notice. But yes, someone's come to my attention, and I'll be damned if I know what to make of it. Go on. It's probably quicker if I just show you. Here. Some sort of crystal. Though, I don't remember seeing one that color before. Aye, well, that makes two of us. In all my long years of trading, both over and under the counter, I've never seen anything quite like it. They're calling them dusk crystals, on account of color. I see. And they could be used to cast magics? That they can. Just like their brighter, shinier cousins. Difference is, they don't last as long. After a couple of goes light in your pie, they crumble away to nothing. That's how I heard about them. Front crystal trade is moaning that someone's been flooding the market with dodgy goods. And after asking the right people the right questions, and paying the right price, of course, I managed to get my hands on a sample. Hmm. I see why you're perturbed. Hey, Hope. Do you feel that, Clive? Yes. Right, lads, that'll do for today. I said that'll do for today. Yes, Chief. Yes, Chief. Let's get this lot back to town, fill our purses and then our bellies. What did you two do now? Oh, 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 oh. Please tell us you bought another London. Stay calm, both of you. Who needs a lantern when you've got one of these? for a single spark. Well, there'll be no more sampling the merchandise today. That sounded close, Chief. Really close. Really, really close. Now, lads, what am I always telling you? Good things come to those who run? Wait for us, Chief! I've never felt a tremor this far inland before. Me neither. 
But then, I'd never seen skies like these till a few moons ago, and it's been all change ever since. Come to think of it, the first anyone ever heard of these dust crystals was after you lot came back from the Dominion and brought this bloody weather with you. Do you think the two things are connected? Who knows? Could just be that with Drake's tail gone, the black market was running short of the good stuff. The Dominion's mines were the only source of new shards left in storm after a certain evil outlaw decided to do away with the other mothers. And with the price of decent crystals going through the roof, traders turned to dealing in stuff they'd never have touched before. The question is, who's selling these crystals and where are they? Wait. This color... They couldn't be from... Origin, could they? No, that wouldn't make sense. I saw it form in the sky, and that was long after we returned from the Dominion. But if they didn't come from Origin or any of the other Mother Crystals, then... Does that mean... That you missed one? Aye. Oh, yeah. That were my thinking, any road. Another Mother Crystal we didn't know about. I'll speak with Joshua. If you're right about this, we need to find it. And quick, I'd say. On account of which, I'll take this shard over to Tomes for you. Get him to give it a once-over, case it rings any bells. Right. Thank you. And I expect you'll be wanting Jill's help with this, too. Right again. I will. Let me go and find Joshua, and we'll meet you in the shelves. Joshua, we need to talk. Karen's caught wind of something that I don't think we can afford to ignore. My, that is troubling. Not least because the Undying made no mention of these dusk crystals in any of their recent reports. So they weren't aware of them either? Perhaps. Or perhaps they merely deemed them unworthy of my attention. Wrongly, I might add, for I am inclined to share Lady Karen's misgivings. Then we'd better take her advice and consult Hippocrates forthwith. To the shelves, then. With our combined insight, I'm sure we'll discern something of use, be it no more than a place to start. Let's hope so. There you are. I've taken the liberty of telling these two everything I told you. Thank you, Karen. It's hard to believe such a lusterless shard could conjure much of anything. And you truly think this came from a mother crystal? One we never knew existed? Every other shard in the twins did. Why should these dusk crystals be any different? Dim though they may be. We know they first appeared on the black market shortly after Ultima Car's primogenesis, darkening the skies. So might the two be connected? Could the spell have created a new Mother Crystal, perhaps? A replacement for the ones we destroyed? What do you think, Hippocrates? I think there may well be a connection. Yet, if we are to believe that the original Mother Crystals were of Ultima's making, does it seem likely that he would have need of anything so palpably inferior? No. I hazard that it was not Ultima who created these crystals, but humanity. More specifically, our fallen forebears, whose wonders litter the land even now. Legend holds that the fallen challenged the gods in order to win their power, and came tantalizingly close to doing so. It seems only reasonable that they should wish to learn the secrets of the crystals which the gods bestowed upon them. So they could make their own. Precisely. You may recall that the tale of the sins of Zemeckis begins with the colloquy of the sages. 
A council wherein humanity sought to uncover the last secrets of the gods before waging their war to learn what little remained. It is perfectly possible that an understanding of how to craft crystals was among their many achievements. Among their many achievements prior to their fall. <laughs> Indeed. The same enlightened souls forged great and terrible weapons called the Iconoclasts, from which icons derive their name, and turned them against each other in the Magitek War. A pointless conflict which served only to make its victors more confident of their right to supplant the gods on high. And when at last they ventured to do so, the resultant imbalance in the ether is said to have been so great that the skies themselves turned black and began to boil. The first recorded RK sky, I suspect. Which brings us back to the matter at hand. It is my belief that these shards are the product of a long slumbering Magitek mother crystal, stirred to life by a similar etheric upheaval to the one which accompanied its creator's fall. There's only one way to know for sure. We track down whoever's selling them and find their source. Karen, where did you buy this one? Down in Port Isolde when I was scratching around for supplies. Since the Imperials buggered off and took the tariffs with him, you can find all sorts of interesting stuff on the docks. Go and have a chat with the mercenaries guarding the gaze. Your uncle's got some good lads there. You know when to keep a watchful eye and when to turn a blind one. Oh, and take the crystal with you. Might be your key to the underworld. Thank you. I will. Shall we then, brother? I'm coming too. If there is another mother crystal out there and it's anything like the others, you'll need all the help you can get. I was hoping you'd say that. One more time then. Together. <laughs>